Hey, what's up YouTube and fellow LEGO fanatics? Cool Kid Bricks here with another set review. This one on the Brickhead set 41590. Iron Man consists of 96 pieces and retails in the US for $9.99. I have to admit, this is an awesome little build. Uh, a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I'm not complaining at all. It's really cool. And um, it was really fast to build too, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, the print that you see on Iron Man is definitely print. No stickers involved, and I absolutely loved that there were not any stickers. Um, I'm gonna rotate it this way. That's uh, side view, which is basically the same as the other side. There's the back. They do tile it up a lot, which is great. Um, on the other side, you still see some studs like right there. There are some studs on the top as well. But those are the, the only spots. Everything else is smooth surface. So I'm going to pull them off. This is the stand. And so far I've built this one, and at the making of this video, I've built this one and Robin. And um, all of them have one, so I'm guessing they're, I mean, it's, they're all series one for Brickheads. So I'm pretty sure that's why they had one. Uh, if you look on the box, on the back of the box, they are numbered. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So you see like Captain America's five, well Iron Man in this case is six, the Hulk's eight, Black Widow seven. So at first, before even looking at the box, when I saw the one, I, I thought, oh, okay, so Iron Man's number one, and maybe Captain America's number two, and then I realized, nope, that's not the case. But um, it would have been cool if they put some one by four black tiles here, and just, you know, tiled off this whole thing. But I'm not complaining, that's something I can go back and do myself. Um, and maybe even uh, add some tiles to the, the top or some dark red curved slopes maybe to the top of his head. Just to cover up the studs. I'm not complaining though. I really, really like this series. Um, my guess is that this is Lego's answer to Funko Pops. And if they keep coming out with these, um, I will definitely get them. Uh, I'm going to give this one probably a 8.5 out of 10. Mainly because of uh, all the studs that are just left there. Um, it would have been cool if they would have tiled off everything. But not really complaining on that. That's something I can go back and do later myself. So good 8.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review, and see you in the next video. Peace.